All right, so here we are again. In this video, what I want to do is convert that rig to Hive OS. Never used it before, but I think it's worth a shot. The thing's honestly been uh, running like total shit, pulling way too much electricity. We're gonna dive into that unit today. All right, so this rig shut down. Time to unplug and remove everything. <laughs> So what you want to do is go to hiveos.farm. We want to go up to the install tab. Go to the GPU section if you're a GPU miner. Click on the zip folder. You download it. It'll take roughly four or five minutes. You'll right click on it. Extract all. You bring it to your downloads folder and just select there. Extract all. Show incomplete. Okay, so you can see you have the Hive OS file right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go to alana.io forward slash etcher and you want to download and you want to open the file. I agree. So now that that's downloaded onto your desktop. Alright, so what you want to do here is select flash from file Go to your downloads folder, <clears throat> click on the image, and you want to select the target. We have our 32 gig uh, SanDisk USB, which is plugged in, so we want to select that. And then you want to click flash. You want to allow it to make changes to your device. And so we'll be back in a minute. We're going to let this do its thing and see how it goes. All right, so while that USB is flashing, I'm going to create an account because I have never used HiveOS. All right, so once you type in all your information, you're going to click register. Then it's going to ask you to sign up for a uh, two-factor authentication. If you want to do it, feel free. I just skipped that part so you guys can't see it. But let's go back and check on the flash drive. All right, so we're about halfway. Um, as you can see this takes a while it's been about I don't know I'd say almost 30 minutes or so and it's you know just about 60 percent all right so there we have it the flash is complete I'm not going to flash another now what we're gonna do is go to the USB drive um, so type in this PC get to the USB all right so it's not showing up what we'll do here is unplug the USB I'm going to plug it back in and now you'll see Hive shows up. Alright so now that we're into the initial Hive OS page what you want to do is come back down to your Hive OS and I guess you want to go to this rig config. Okay so this is basically just a text file what we need to do is go to our account we want to click on our farm you want to go to settings. Once you're in your settings, 
it says copy and paste your farm hash and put it right here your farm hash is directly behind this notepad I'm not going to show you because you can't have that so I will copy and paste it here when I'm ready uh, rig password I'm gonna leave it blank if you guys want to put a password in feel free if you use your farm hash and you want to name your rig you can I'm gonna name this the RX 580 rig if you have a rig ID and you're not going to use your farm hash you can put it in right here but we're using the farm hash so we're gonna roll with that the rig password down here if you need it for anything inside this operating system I assume that would be the password you need to type in so whatever number this says I'm assuming default is one that's what it is all right once you copy and paste your farm hash into the selected spot you want to go to file click save as then you want to come down here you want to delete this file name and type in rig.conf exactly what it says here rig con f okay then we change text documents to all files and we're going to save this now we're going to go back to our USB and you can see right here where it says rig.config hopefully I can unplug this now plug it into the rig and it should start up with no issues fingers crossed Okay, so here we are. The new USB with HiveOS is on the rig. It's clearly registering 12 GPUs, but nothing's mining yet because we have to set up a wallet, flight sheets, and do some overclocking. But as you can see, all 12 GPUs are here. Zero counts as one, and then it counts up from there. So really, that's two, three, four. You know the deal. Um, to be honest, this name, RX580, was not set it said something else um, I went into settings right under your farm hash there is a spot where you can change the name and then I clicked update and it saved it so it seems fine now I'm gonna try to figure out the flight sheet and I'll be back in a second all right I'm actually gonna go into the overclocking templates first I'm gonna add a template I'm gonna name it the RX 580 I'm gonna save it go to edit I'm gonna flip it to AMD Core clock, I'm going to put 1130. Core state, I'm going to put 3. Core voltage, I'm going to put 850. Memory controller, on 0. 2070 on the memory clock. Go down to memory voltage, going to do 0. The fan, I'm going to put at 100%, just because they get hot. And you don't need this because that's only good for NVIDIA cards. AMD doesn't uh, allow you to do that. I'm going to turn on aggressive undervolting and the refresh rate, I'm going to put it to 20. And then we're going to save it. So that is it. And I already have it uploaded to those settings on here. So just type those in right here. As you can see, my cards are all over the place. This one's good, this one's good, this one's good, and that one's good. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards that need to be checked out in their BIOS. I'm gonna to try to mess with that and I'll try to make a, another beginner video. Again, this is my first time on HiveOS. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I just added my wallet. I tried to figure out you know, what to mine on. I went Hive on so I don't have to pay for this up to four rigs, I believe it is. If you go over four, you have to pay. Um, I'm on Team Red Miner right now, and then I just hit this little rocket chip, and the cards started mining. So, 
far as I know, it's up and running. Hopefully this was a decent beginner's guide, as I'm learning myself. If you guys enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate you all watching. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.